Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. What I would like to do next is talk about how your calculator can assist you in uh, coming up with this average value. Now, one thing I just want to tell you up front, um, when you're just calculating an average, the calculator doesn't make it that much easier. So sometimes people say, Miss Hearn, why are you making us put this into this funky calculator when I can just add it up, it's so much faster. The reason is because the next calculation we have to do, it, it's also going to work. <laughs> okay, so the, you're going to be able to get a whole bunch of information from the calculator by doing this one step. So I want to get you familiar with plugging it into the calculator while we're just working on means. And then when we get to things uh, like standard deviation, we're going to zip right through that. So, so bear with me as we do this. Okay, so get out your calculator. I remember I uh, recommend that you do the TI-30X2S calculator. And we're going to use this same set of data values, but we're going to put it into our calculator. So uh, here's the second function. See the arrows? In ours, it's going to be second and then stat. And then what happens is you see a screen that says one var, two var. And if you arrow to the right, you will also see clear data. So what I was recommending is that we go ahead and uh, clear the data out first. So you arrow over till it underlines clear data and hit enter. Okay, just to clear the data first. Okay, then if you go second stat, or it might be showing already, you'll see one var underlined. We are always until maybe at the very end of the semester, if all goes well, we'll use two var, but for the rest of the time we're using one var. So you're always going to do one var. That stands for one variable statistics. So one data set is being analyzed. One var, enter. Okay, so after you hit one var and enter, the screen goes a blank, right? Okay, so then you have to hit the data button, just data. If you hit data, what do you see on your screen? x1 equals. So that's asking you for the first data value. So what's the first data value here? 28,600. 28, Good. Okay, so um, now this little v here that I have next to the 28,600 is my way of saying arrow down. Okay, so now you're going to arrow down. And it asks you for the frequency, yes. So you, um, you've entered your 28,600, you arrow down and it asks you how many times is 28,600 on the list. It's there one time. Automatically the calculator will have a one there. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, so all you have to do for that one is just really just arrow down again. It's going to ask you for data value two. The second data value in our frequency distribution is 17,500. 17,500 entered, now you, you arrow down again. And what you should see is frequency equals one again, right? But we don't want a frequency of one, we want a frequency of five, so just type five and it'll replace the one. Okay, now we're gonna arrow down again, and we're gonna have x3 equals, and we're gonna say 15,100 for our third salary. What do you think you do next? Arrow down, that's right. Yeah. So um, let's see, we were on 1500. What's the frequency of 15,100? Three. Three. Arrow down. X4 is going to be 13,000. Okay, if you want to, you can arrow down. There's only a frequency of one, though. So now our data is entered. You do not have to push enter. All you need to do is push the stat var button. You see the stat var button over here? <coughs> stat var. When you first push the stat var button, look at the screen. What do you see? N, X bar, S, X, Sigma, X. Okay. What is underlined right now is the N. What does N mean in statistics? 
number of data values, yes? So it's showing 10. That is, that is important to look at that number because that's a way of checking if you entered your frequencies correctly. So we did have 10 data values. We had one, five makes six, and three is nine, and one more is 10. So it looks like we entered the right number of data values. Now we just arrow to the right, and what does it say that the mean is? 17,440, which is the same thing that we got over here. Yeah, that's right. So that's how you use your calculator to enter and find, you enter a frequency distribution and find the weighted mean. Okay? I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.